This presentation provides information about upgrading to ESX 5.1 and is based on Knowledge Base Article 2032756. This presentation assumes that you have read the vSphere installation and setup guide for ESXi 5.1 installation or the vSphere upgrade guide for ESXi 5.1 upgrades. These guides contain definitive information. If there's a discrepancy between the guide and this presentation, assume the guide is correct. VMware provides several ways to install or upgrade to ESXi 5.1 hosts. For more information, see the Knowledge Base articles, Methods of Installing ESXi 5.1, or Methods of Upgrading to ESXi 5.1. With the introduction of vSphere 5.0, ESX has been discontinued. ESXi is now the only version available for data center server virtualization. Due to the architectural changes from ESX to ESXi, not all configuration files, settings, and third-party tools are guaranteed to be migrated to ESXi 5.x. Ensure that you retain and note any configuration modifications before performing an upgrade. For more information, see the vSphere Upgrade Guide. When migrating to ESXi 5.1, ensure that your hardware is compliant on the VMware Compatibility Guide. This includes System Compatibility, I.O. Compatibility, Storage Compatibility, and Backup Software Compatibility. Ensure you have a 64-bit processor, VMware ESXi 5.1, only installs and runs on servers with 64-bit x86 CPUs. It also only supports LAHF and SAHF CPU instructions. Ensure you have an ESXi 5.1 host machine with at least two cores. Ensure that the NXXD bit is enabled for the CPU in the BIOS. Ensure your processor is supported. ESXi supports a broad range of x64 multi-core processors. For a complete list of supported processors, see the VMware Compatibility Guide. Ensure you have 2 gigs of RAM. This is the minimum required to install ESXi 5.1. Provide at least 8 gigs of RAM to take full advantage of the ESXi features and run virtual machines in typical production environments. Ensure support for hardware virtualization is enabled on x64 CPUs to support 64-bit virtual machines. For a complete list of operating systems supported for ESXi, see the VMware Compatibility Guide. Hosts running virtual machines with 64-bit guest operating systems have the following hardware requirements. Ensure you have one or more gigabit or 10 gigabyte Ethernet controllers. For a list of supported network adapter models, see the VMware Compatibility Guide. Ensure you have controllers with any combination of one or more of the following. Ensure you have SCSI disk or a local non-network RAID LUN with unpartitioned space for the virtual machines. For serial ATA, ensure a disk is connected through supported SAS controllers or supported onboard SATA controllers. SATA disks will be considered remote, not local. These disks will not be used as a scratch partition by default because they are seen as remote. Ensure you are using a supported storage system. ESXi 5.1 supports installing on and booting from the following storage systems. Note, ESXi does not support using local internal SATA drives on the host server to create VMFS data stores that are shared across multiple ESXi hosts.
ESXi 5.1 has the following storage requirements. Installing ESXi 5.1 requires a boot device that is a minimum of 1 GB in size. When booting from a local disk or SAN iSCSI LUN, a 5.2 GB disk is required to allow for the creation of the VMFS volume and a 4 GB scratch partition on the boot device. If a smaller disk or LUN is used, the installer attempts to allocate a scratch region on a separate local disk. To reconfigure the scratch, see Set the Scratch Partition from the vSphere client in the vSphere installation and setup documentation. Due to the I.O. sensitivity of USB and SD devices, the installer does not create a scratch partition on these devices. As such, there is no tangible benefit to using large USB or SD devices as ESXi uses only the first gig. When installing on USB or SD devices, the installer attempts to allocate a scratch region on an available local disk or data store. In auto-deploy installations, the installer attempts to allocate a scratch region on an available local disk or data store. If no local disk or data store is found, the scratch partition is placed on the RAM disk. You should reconfigure the scratch partition to use a persistent data store following the installation. For environments that boot from a SAN or use auto-deploy, it is not necessary to allocate a separate LUN for each ESXi host. You can co-locate the scratch regions for many ESXi hosts onto a single LUN. The number of hosts assigned to any single LUN should be weighed against the LUN size and the I.O. behavior of the virtual machines.